I don't necessarily speed. I just make sure I'm always in front. You like to be the leader. I like to be the leader, not a follower. I can, I can respect that. I prefer to be a leader versus a follower too. Welcome back to Ron's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. About a month ago, we installed a pedal commander in Mrs. Don's Life's 2022 Cadillac Escalade Sport Platinum. It brought us one step closer to getting those performance gains that she wanted. She just wanted more throttle response right now, right at her toenail tips. <laughs> My toenail tips. At least they look pretty. So here we go. We're gonna answer some of your questions. We're gonna get a first-hand testimonial for Mrs. Dawn's life. Let's go. Before you watch this video, make sure you check out the previous one. I'll leave a link up here. Check that one out because that's gonna tell all the backstory on how we got to this review today. Now, before I answer any of your questions, I wanted to go over exactly what a pedal commander does one more time, just so we're all on the same page. I'm gonna place a graphic right here that helps you visualize exactly what the pedal commander is doing. So what the pedal commander is doing is boosting the signal as you instructed to for a more or less aggressive initial response from that pedal when you push it with your foot or your toenails. So if you've ever been under the impression this increases your horsepower or your torque, it does not. It is just manipulating the throttle to behave differently. And I can tell you that each setting is unique and noticeable. Now let's go ahead and answer some of the questions that have come up since I posted the first video. So the first one is, does it behave differently in reverse? Well, to be honest, we haven't noticed anything. Maybe that's because whenever we're backing into the garage or backing out of a parking spot, we're really just controlling the brake. We're not even touching the throttle. Just the idle speed alone allows the vehicle to do all the moving. Now, if you had a manual transmission, I could see that if you had a boosted all the way up and you're in reverse, depending on the clutch behavior and how quick you let out the clutch, it might be a little temperamental, but I haven't tried that, so I can't really speak to that point. Another question that came up is, does it affect your transmission's behavior? No, it doesn't. It's only manipulating the throttle response. All your shift patterns, even if you're in different modes, such as sport mode, it's gonna shift whenever it's supposed to based on your vehicle speed and other factors, but it is not doing anything to affect how your transmission behaves. I get this comment quite often that there's some competitive products that do the same thing. So why would I pick Pedal Commander? Well, there's a few reasons. One, it doesn't leave a trace of the install. Super easy to install, super easy to uninstall. Not gonna void your warranty, comes with a two year warranty and it doesn't use your OBD2 port, so that's free if you wanna plug in other accessories. So there's a few reasons. Main one, it just works. And I'm not gonna tell you what's best for you. I just put out the information so you can make informed decisions. So doing my research, I have seen some people concerned whether or not it's safe to use on the circuit that it's connected to, which is only five volts. Well, good news, there's headroom on that circuit, and within that headroom, this device uses a sliver of it safely as to not overload the circuit. So we're good. And who doesn't love a no trace install? Well, there will be no evidence this was ever installed showing on the ECU. Okay, the moment everyone's been waiting for, let's talk to the subject matter expert, Mrs. Dawn's Life, who's had the pedal commander now for a little over a month. Just grabbing it out here. So you've had this guy. How's it working for you? So far, so good. So far, so good. I see that it's on city four. <laughs> I left it on city one. Explain yourself. I touched it like two times. You liar! <laughs> two times? But what would it, for what reason would you have to take it from one to four? Because everybody feels like they need to race me. And, and I feel like I need to show them I can beat them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this may have been a mistake, everybody. Now, you're only on city four. Why not the higher settings? Because it's icy a little bit. Not today. I could turn it up today. Uh, <laughs> There's no ice. I'd prefer you just leave it. <laughs> it's, it's much better than not having it, that's for sure. Okay, so you like having it? Yes. Okay. 
and you don't want me to take it out and put it in my truck? No. No, it's your gift? Yeah, it was my gift, remember? Okay, okay. I also feel like I'm not gonna rear end anybody and I'm not gonna pull into my garage and cr crash in the garage. So you don't feel unsafe? You feel that it's completely manageable? Yeah, it doesn't give you instant boost if you're just touching the pedal because you're mostly just coasting when you're right behind somebody or you're mostly coasting when you're pulling in your garage. I see, okay. But I mean, I could if I floored it, but I could have done that without the pedal commander. Okay, well, we got vehicles in front of us right now. We'll maybe let a gap start to form and then you can show us what City 4 does. Okay, okay I'm ready when you are. Well, wait, make sure this light doesn't... Oh yeah, it just turned. It's always traffic when you want to demonstrate things. All right, we're in City 4. You want to give it a little City 4 action? I definitely feel that. That's yeah, good, it's not too bad. No. Okay, I, I see. I see why you like it and I see why you maybe <laughs> moved it up a little bit. I was just trying to keep you as safe as possible, not let you get tickets. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. No tickets. I just make sure I'm always in front. <laughs> Say that again. I don't necessarily speed. I just make sure I'm always in front. You like to be the leader. I like to be the leader. I'm not a follower. I can, I can respect that. I prefer to be a leader versus a follower too. Well, there we go. We heard it directly from Mrs. Dawn's Life's mouth. She likes the product. She wants to keep using it. So that's a good thing. I'm a firm believer that these videos are just for educational purposes. I'm giving you information so you can make decisions based on what makes sense for your life, for your vehicle, your lifestyle, what have you. So if you want to pick up a pedal commander for yourself, I'll leave a link in the video description below. Make sure you click on that to go check out everything on their website. We'll do a follow-up video again once the snow has melted and the grass starts to grow. We definitely want to check out some of the other modes, make sure these streets are cleaned up and really put this device through its paces. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing and we'll talk to you next time.